Hey everybody, I'm Chef Tom with ATBBQ.com and this is barbecue grilled chicken breasts with mango pico de gallo. All right, we're back with another one of those great weeknight meals. It's something you can pull off after work, ready for dinner, or to an extent you can even get a head start on it. This is a grilled chicken breast, which is one of the things that we eat the most in my household, so it's right up my alley. But before we jump into the recipe, just want to remind you guys, every purchase you make over at atbbq.com, be it a rub or a sauce, a knife, a grill, or some grill grates, all of those things go to support this channel and allow us to bring you content week in and week out. Let's get into the recipe. All right, so we're starting off with these boneless, skinless chicken breasts, which might seem like kind of a boring idea, but this is real food, this is really how we eat, and when you treat this piece of meat well, it can deliver a lot of flavor. Now I'm just gonna be taking off some of these fatty bits, some of that cartilage that runs along the seam of that muscle, so we're not chewing on it later. That rib meat you can leave on or take off, that's up to you. But these are already cleaned up pretty well. Now one of the quickest and easiest ways that you can add a lot of flavor and moisture to your chicken breast is by injecting it with the injection solution, but be it a marinade or a brine or something like that. So this is totally optional, but today we're gonna add a lot of flavor and a lot of moisture by injecting it with the Smoke on Wheels pork marinade and injection. All right, so this is a pretty salty marinade here. It's not gonna take a lot of it to add some extra flavor. This injection has an apple juice base to it, so it's gonna add a little bit of sweetness as well, which is great because we're going for kind of a barbecue flavor profile. I'm especially gonna focus on the thickest part of the breast here. We just kind of get in there, make a little pocket, start to pump some of that marinade in. Now this is a pretty small piece of meat, so it doesn't take much to fill up. And I mention that as well, just so that you're not alarmed when you see it start to come back out pretty quickly. What happens when we make that little pocket, you see how it puffs up. It takes on as much liquid as it can, and then the rest starts to come out, and you know that that's when it's time to move on. So we can leave some of that marinade on the surface there, but I don't want it just sitting in the marinade. We want it to act as a binder, but we don't want there to be so much on the outside that it's washing away the rub. So here we're going to hit this with one of my favorite barbecue rubs, Plowboy's Yardbird. So this is just a great all around barbecue seasoning for chicken, for pork. I'm not gonna go too heavy because remember we just put some salt on the inside. There's some soy sauce in that marinade injection. But this is gonna give us a really pretty red color on the outside. Add a little bit of salt and sweetness. All those barbecue flavors that we like. All right, so take a look at this now. It's a little bit drier. There's a kind of a bright red. We'll come back to it in about five minutes and you'll see how this rub is really set up and darkened on the surface. Today we're gonna to be grilling on the Napoleon P500, the gas grill with the RSIB. So we got the rear burner, we've got the side burner, which is gonna come in handy because we're gonna make a little barbecue glaze on that side burner while we're grilling our chicken on the main grate. Now I've got the burners on this side on full blast right now. This side, the burners are all the way down on low. So we'll be able to get some really nice marks here on our brand new grill grates that, as you can see, these fit perfectly on top of the regular grates inside the P500. So you can see how much that's changed in the last five minutes or so. It's darkened and the whole surface looks wet. I'm gonna hit the surface with a little bit of fat. We've got the spray duck fat here. We'll let these get some really nice grill marks on them before we start flipping and turning them. In the meantime, let's close up the grill. Now if you're doing this on a different type of grill, say like a pellet grill, and you're looking for a target temperature, I would say about 500 degrees is what you want to set that at. All right, this is what we're looking for out of these grill marks. I'm going to flip these over for now. Maybe able to give them a turn here in a little bit. And close the lid back up. Next, we're gonna make our mango pico de gallo. Now, this is the part that you could do ahead of time. This is a really great salsa when it sits overnight, but if you're pressed for time, you can probably throw this together in the same amount of time it takes to cook the chicken. We're gonna start off with a pound of heirloom tomatoes and get these diced. Now, 
Now these heirlooms are gonna cost you more at the grocery store, but the flavor is totally worth it. And maybe you've got a friend with a garden, especially this time of year, where the tomatoes are gonna start coming out. It's a really great utilization for those extra tomatoes. So we've got the yellow tomato too. We're just gonna get rid of these hard parts. Those aren't really very nice to chew on. No real reason to use a yellow tomato other than it really adds some beautiful variation in the salsa. With the bright colored mango tomato. Visually appealing as well as delicious. So we'll get this in the bowl and we're gonna go check on our chicken again. Chicken's looking really good. It's coming along, but I don't think we're quite there yet. So let's flip this back over. Get kind of a nice cross hatch going on our presentation side. Next we have our mango. And in the center of this mango, if you're not used to breaking these down, is a seed that kind of sits just like the shape of the mango. So you just gotta slice right around it. I'll start in the middle and then kind of angle the knife outward and then come back down. So there's that seed. Do the same thing on the other side. And then you can kind of cut around the edge of that seed to get a little extra out of there. But the rest of this, that's inedible. All right, so a great way to get the skin off of here is to use this edge of a pint glass. As you can see, it just rides right on the inside of the skin there, scoops out all that flesh. This mango is slightly less than the ripeness I would really like, which makes it a little bit tougher, but it still gets the job done. And then we're simply going to dice this down. So even though that mango is a little under the ripeness I like, it's still plenty soft, tastes great, add a little bit more tartness than sweetness to the finished product. Next, I'm gonna break down about half of a red onion. We want about three quarter cup. Small dice on the red onion. Next, we're gonna break down a couple of jalapenos. I'm gonna do two of these, uh, depending on how spicy you like. If you want seeds in there or not, you know, you kinda make that call your own. I'm gonna take the seeds out of these and use all of these two jalapenos. We're gonna keep these jalapeno bits pretty small as well. Next, we're gonna get some fresh cilantro in there, looking for about three quarter cup of this cilantro once it's kind of minced down. Of course, we gotta have some lime juice in our pico. We're looking for about a quarter cup. So just one last thing, we're gonna add a little bit of smoked salt to our pico. That salt really helps to draw all the flavors. It's really necessary in a pico like this. And boy, just look at all those bright colors. It's a beautiful, beautiful salsa. Let's have a taste. Perfect. Love it. It's sweet, slightly spicy. Just a little bit of salt, just the right amount. That's gonna go great with the chicken. All right, well our chickens come into that 155 to 160 range, which is exactly where we wanna be finishing, so we're gonna pull these off. So that range should really get you a nice juicy chicken breast. This one's got just a few degrees to go, so we'll throw that back on. So this is a barbecue glaze, so we will be using a barbecue sauce, but we're actually using equal amounts 
of this barbecue sauce, the Firebug Mild, which is nice and fruity, not too thick, but we're gonna thin it out even more. We'll do that by adding an equal amount of pineapple juice, as well as an equal amount of honey. And last, we've got the 1888. This is a Dominican rum that we're going to add an equal amount of as well. This rum comes from our friends over at thinklicker.com and spiritedgifts.com. So we're just gonna give this all a whisk. We wanna bring this mixture up to a simmer. You can see how this is pretty thin. We need it to reduce down to become that glaze consistency. All right, so we're bringing our glaze up to a boil and we wanna let it simmer and start to reduce. Notice the size of the bubbles now versus when we're done with this. We'll compare that and you'll see that the bubbles start to get much larger as this reduces down. So this is between about five and 10 minutes that this has been reducing and you can see what I'm talking about, about those bubbles, how they get that much larger. And then just volume wise, you can tell that everything's reduced down. So this is what we're looking for to finish this off. All right, so hot off the grill, you wanna get your glaze onto your chicken. Now your glaze should be thin enough to spread easily, but sticky enough to stay right there when you, wherever you put it. So we're gonna get a bright fruitiness out of this. Of course, that barbecue sauce flavor. And just look at the sheen that it adds. Much like the salsa, it's really visually appealing as well as tasty. So I would serve each one of these breasts on a plate topped with your mango pico de gallo. So when you cut in, everything just kind of falls together. And I'm gonna go ahead and get a bite out of here. Wow, look at that. See how moist the surface of that is? Retains so much juice. Should be tons of flavor in there. Just flavor explosion. It's amazing what you can do to dress up the very simple, very plain, boneless, skinless chicken breast. I could eat that three nights a week. Now, one more thing before we wrap this up. This past February, we were invited back to Miami for the South Beach Wine and Food Festival. And while we were down there, we hooked up with our friend Jamie from Think Liquor and Spirited Gifts. I mentioned them earlier. They were the ones that hooked us up with this great bottle of Dominican rum. So since we've used the rum in the recipe, we figured why not go ahead and make a cocktail while we're at it. While I'm getting that stuff together, I'm gonna throw it over to Jamie so she can tell you about the rum. I'm Jamie Futcher, founder of spiritedgifts.com and thinklicker.com two online stores for buying and sending spirits online. So the first bottle we have here today is a rum from the Dominican Republic. This is the top of the line from Brugal, a Dominican Republic rum. While 1888 is generally reserved for sipping, I like to enjoy it in the summertime over a coconut water ice sphere where you just pour the rum right on top and it's absolutely delicious and refreshing. All right, I'm gonna whip up one of the easiest rum cocktails I know of, the Dark and Stormy. So we're starting off with some ginger beer. So we'll go three ounces of ginger beer to two ounces of our dark rum. And then top that off with some fresh squeezed lime juice. Garnish with a wedge of lime and you're good to go. Nice and bright. I love the ginger beer. I'm no bartender, so this one's perfect for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to check out atbbq.com for all the products featured in today's video. If you enjoyed the recipe, hit that subscribe button. If you have any questions or comments or there's anything you'd like to see me cook, let me know in the comment section down below and let's be good to one another. For more recipes, tips, and techniques, head over to atbbq.com slash the sauce. All things barbecue, where barbecue legends are made.